All right, thank you. Omo Chineke. Thank you for joining us this very moment. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland radio Biafra, here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from. I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazi Madab Chumwachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Aniri. Aniri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Namdekan is our leader. We move. The lawyer of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ibo Namdi Kanu, who is in the Department of State Services DSS custody, has said that Kanu requires urgent ear surgery amidst his reported failing health. Michael Zekoman made this known at the Abuja Federal High Court during the hearing of the case where Kanu is seeking an order granting him unhindered access to his personal doctor. A senior lawyer also stated that the DSS has repeatedly refused to grant Namdi Kanu access to his doctor and has also refused to release medical records of the whole Biafra agitator, even after the medical team confirmed the need for his medical attention. Ozekuma stressed that the action of the DSS indicates that it is unwilling to allow his client access to proper medical attention, which is in breach of Section 7 of the Anti-Torture Act. In his reply, the DSS lawyer informed the court that Kanu is being given proper feeding and medical attention while in DSS custody, and therefore urged the courts to dismiss Kanu's case. Listening to the submission, the trial judge, Justice Vita Nyako, adjourned the suit to July 20 for judgment. Nandi Kanu had in the suit said he would need his doctors to conduct an independent examination to ascertain his actual state of health. Kanu is praying the court for an order granting him leave to apply for judicial review in the form of an order of mandamus compelling the respondent to allow him unhindered access to his medical doctors to enable them to conduct an independent examination of his present deteriorating health condition as earlier ordered by the Federal High Court, Abuja, on October 21, 2021. <laughs> From the 29th day of June 2021, to stay in hospital. We move. I know why I brought that very video, because that is the only thing in our mind. Free Namdi Kanu. And we will continue on this. And Nobody can stop us. IPOB believes in self-determination and we stand on that. We can never move an inch from our track. The British have seen us that we are unmovable. This time around, they are following the track we are following. Because had it been we are into violence, the British cannot be meeting with them. Um, um, uh, I cannot be telling you that uh, they want to go into pa in partnership with our Hanese. What you would have been seeing here is the killings of our people, a bombardment of our communities, as it is happening, you know, but it, have, it would have been worse than that. All these things they are doing is to provoke us, but we refuse to be provoked. And you can see the British dancing to our tone. We told you we will provide agenda for them. We will give them agenda. We will push them and tell them where to fall. For you to see the British High Commission to come into this matter from trying to come into this matter and the flowing the wrong way and the negative way is because IPOB maintains the track. IPOB maintains 
that very track we choose because the road we are following we know what we need to do there we know the we know the activities that are supposed to be played there we refuse to move an inch we refuse to move they have tried everything they have used iep they have used everything on earth they have used nigerian uh, security they use infiltrator they use everything they use media they use bbc to move ipob from the very track which we knew that they can have busted in the place before the world on radio biaf that will maintain this self-determination and biafra will come he said I will not, I will restore Biafra without a gunshot. And this is the track we are. They try to move us. Some came with emotion. They say you will not get Biafra without war. Have we not been in war? Is it when we declare war on Nigeria that have already declared war on us? I don't know the way people think. So when you see a way to make market, on a channel market, a real main market, a court, right? And some other markets in Biafra land, when you see them down, all of them collapse, and you see the communities in Biafra land collapse, that is when you know you will not get Biafra, you will not get freedom without a war. How many times have they, have they not been killing IPOB? Have we not been in war? What are the pistols you are posting? What are the things we are showing? Abducting of our people, killings of our people. I don't know what they call war. I don't know what these idiots, infiltrators call war. War is when they, you see, they are living in that, um, comfort, uh, what is it called? Comfortable places. They tell you you can't get their flag without the war. People that cannot hold the flag in a civil protest, civil protest, you never surfaced. You never broke war. And idiots. Somewhere. Do you know how many people if I know killed in Delta State? Do you know how many people? Um, how many IPOB family members? If I know killed using one commissioner of police, Hafiz Imamed in Noah to abduct and kill our people. If I know Kowa. Right? Do you know how many IPOB family members? Nigerian army, the woman he killed in a body. Do you know? Do you know how many IPB family members and their detention? Do you know how many of them that OKZ has killed? Do you know how many of us? Do you know how many IPB family members OKZ has killed? Do you know? Do you know how many IPB family members Nelson Wicked killed? Are you aware? Do you know how many IPB family members? Who was the mark killed? Do you know how many IPOB family members if I knew one killed? If you can remember one from Uguani, you just remember Yemeni massacre. And the Yemeni massacre provoked Namdekan to raise up Dragon Flag, which then ESM was not launched. Dragon Flag is for the volunteers. You know, these infants that just joined. Uh, just, that just become freedom fighters because they didn't join IPOB. They are just freedom fighters because Sinan Nikan was abducted. Not those that are following us who following IPOB. They are not IPOB family members, but those ones are more hardcore than many of us. But we are telling you, all these neutral people, they believe in anything that will come against IPOB. If you see them talking, they don't even know. They don't nothing. They don't. If you ask them anything that happened from 2019, that you don't know. 2020, you don't know. Do you understand? We have been. They have. We have been in war. Namikana has said it several times that Nigeria government have declared war on us. But some people will gather somewhere. You cannot get Biafra without a war. But our people are dying. So when there is no more house, no more building in Biafra land, that is when you will know you are at war. I, how do you reason? 
You can't get the Afra without war. I, 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 I can't work. But there are checking points in our places. There are police barracks in our com communities. There are army barracks in our communities. And they invade our communities. They are burning down our houses. They are killing us. They are abducting us. They send foreign investment to take over our bushes. They send foreign investment to abduct, to kidnap, to rape, to kill. Which war again? No, when we do not have food to eat, that is when we know we are at war. You saw them attack U.S. convoy. They say it's like you'll be, are we not at war? All these fools that sleep very well in their comfort room, you see that they say, you cannot get their friend without war. I am in their friend and we are at war. We are at war. You, you, are, you are not witnessing war. You don't know anything. You are just comforted. You are just in a very free place. You are, you are shouting. We are at war. They are doctors. Every day, they kill us. But we maintain self-determination. And that's what attracted the US, um, UK convoy, UK envoy, UK High Commission. Do you know the meeting they had in the UK? Do you know what they have? They, they have following us. Do you know they are following us? Do you know they are following IPOB activities? Do you know that the UK are the people giving Nigeria idea how to follow us? Do you know that the UK have been following us? That is, without giving gap. And all they have been pushing us, all the, the, the what is it called? All the dangerous tra um, traps they set for us, we neutralize them. We cross there gently. Do you know what they came back again now? Because Tinubu, I told you, Tinubu is holding MT5. Nandikan is not facing any trial. And the Nandikan will not stand any trial. Do you understand? MT5. That is why nobody is boasted. None of the Tinubu government have ever said anything or boasted. Because they didn't kidnap Nandikan. And Nandikan have been discharged. And the Nandikan have defeated those that kidnapped him. And defeated that government. And also defeated the Nigerian government. Because he was discharged under the Nigerian constitution. And those that have been sworn in now are, are holding the Nigerian constitution. Therefore, the new government have no power on Namdekan than to obey court order because Namdekan has secured court order. They have secured it. They have won them. What they are now practicing is now executive power. There is no legal, there is no um, legitimate grant keeping Namdekan in DSS custody right now. There is no grant anybody can present. No sense. It just free Namdekan obey. Nobody will say he did this or do that because he, all those things he will say he did or that or he, he did not do or he do. I've been, I've been, um, Nigerian government have added those things in the charges against him. There is nothing you can mention and say Namdekan did. He did not face the trial in the court. Can you provide anything? Br bring one thing as a Nigerian or anything. Tell us what the can did. Call one. Is it unknown government? He's not involved, but he has been charged for unknown government activities. Is it answers? He's not involved, but the Namdekan has been charged for answers activities. But in Nigeria, you know we are the one who did it. Have you go to your government and say, no, it was Nigerian youth? No. But you had it on the charges against the Namdeka. The killings of our people by Nigerian army and police have been charged against the Namdeka. Can you provide anything? You will say he did. He did nothing. He did nothing. And that is why IPOB say we will remain on this lane. This lane that have destroyed Nigeria. This lane of civility, this lane of political solution, this lane of political process, this lane of self-determination, this lane of peaceful movement, we will continue on it. If we are at war, if we have declared, we, although we cannot declare war on Nigeria, can you declare war two times? Nigeria have declared war on us. So we are on self-defense. Do you understand? Now, People are telling us that you must fight a war. 
you get freedom. But the young people saying this thing have never taken, that is, their war to any part of Nigeria. Not even a foot in the land of the north. They never move, step in a foot in the land of the north. They never step in a foot in the land of the west. They are in Biafra land, killing Biafrans. Telling you, you must fight war. These are the highest idiots you can ever confront in life. People, a wise man, when people bring war at your home, you will draw that person out of your compound and go to a neutral ground. You saw even children, even small children, you want to fight them, they say, no, let us go to a new place. Even children. But the people that call themselves uh, adults, they come in the name of Biafra. They bring war to their home to destroy our achievement of out of 20 pounds, our achievement out of suffering. When Nigeria has already been destroying us, destroying our economy, destroying our land, destroying our resources, our mineral resources, destroying everything, destroying our talents. The little shed where we are sleeping, you are drinking war to come and demolish it. When you did not discuss war with anybody, on your own, you say you need war. Without informing, IPOD have been carrying there for a long. We carry everybody along. We don't force people. We listen to them. And that is where we are. Now, before we go and we pray, I need to finish here. If you're IPOD family member, just thank our God who used the leadership of IPOB to maintain this line. You see this lane. You see this lane that Nigeria can never fight. This lane we feel. This lane of self-determination. This lane. You know, British gave them gone. So they are in power of, they, they are in charge of gone. And then they do not use their senses anymore. They believe that they can send army to kill any community that said no to what they agreed. And that is what they want IPOB to come with. Gone. Because there is British that will cover them up. That we came with the one who will be playing in the presence of the world. This is a self-determination process. We fight this war in the presence of the world. Make it in Nigeria before the world. But if we are in gun battle, they will do it. They will hide it. They will not even let anybody know. They will deny what they did. They will, they will even... What they will use chemical weapon in our land. They will use it, they will deny. They will say it's IPOB that the manufacture it, it will explode, and the, this part of the East die. But this one we are following, we protest before the embassies, we protest before the whole world. When they say it's not IPOB, no, we go to their court, we defeated them. Everything we follow the due procedures. Nigeria cannot fight this part. They believe in bribery and invading communities. But they have invaded our communities. It has nothing to do with IPOB. Our ideology is different from that pattern they are bringing. Bringing war, we know it is your pattern. This pattern we hold. That's why the British have been telling Nigeria to use infiltrator to bring war because that is the pattern Nigeria knew. This pattern IPOB is using. Nigeria don't know it. They finally ended up in disobeying their court order. And that is the highest disgrace. And with the gun, you can never get this ground. You can never. With the gun, with the missile, with the bomb. You see where, where this place in America is holding Nigeria. You can never reach that level. Even in more, more 20 years with the gun, you can never achieve it. Hanging Nigeria up. New government have no going, no coming. No going out, no coming out. Coming back. The new government is hanging. You know, they try to maintain and say that is nothing happening. It is a lie. Pressure is coming. Because I pray is showing the right track. Pressures are coming on their table. Pressures are coming. You can't hide it. It is an open war. Namikano brought it to them. Open war, not secret one. You will be, you will go to you, you throw chemical with a missile, a weapon. You will deny. You, you go there, but you kill. You deny. You ask them money. You say not nobody die. You go to India, you kill. You deny. This one is in open. We protest in open. We tweet. We are here now because we say it on radio. We go to the TV. We do everything in the open. 
The world is open. You can't deny our efforts. Nigeria can never hide. They can never. And this very late hour, they brought infiltrators and we have destroyed them because they have taken their part. You cannot hold gun, you come closer to our track. Our track is very, very sacred. That track, you can see caught there in the track of IPOB. You can see, um, you will also see um, the freedom there, right? You will see lawyers there. You will also see civil disobedience there, which is sit at home. In the track, IPOB is following. But in the track of gun, you will not see court. You will not see lawyer. If Ojukwu had been was arrested during the war, will they take him to court? The answer is no. Right? If IPOB is on the track of gun, will we, will you be seeing us in the court going to uh, free IPOB family members that are in detention? If we are in armed struggle, will you even know where IPOB family members are being detained? Will you ever know? If we are in armed struggle, we will be going to break prison yards. If we are in armed struggle, that is how it is done. If we are in armed struggle, we can never, never warn us of them. You can't see us give press release on any government. We will go after the governor with our gun. If you don't have sense, you have sense. I see some people on social media, they are doing armed struggle. On social media, on Facebook, armed struggle. So if we are in armed struggle, you see me here. All those cowards. You know, we are armed struggle. We are doing something. If a friend and the can on, what are you doing here on Facebook? Unless you are on the track of self-determination, that is when you'll be here. You won't go on Facebook. Are you mad? You have brain problem. You have mental problem. Only those that are on self-determination that can be on media. Only us can call for self-determination, self um, civil disobedience, sit at home. Only us. We are not holding God. We are not holding God. Now you know. Now you know that we know what we are doing. But you see some people, they say they are in Amsterdam. You see them calling for referendum. These are idiots who don't have sense. Immediately you carry gun, your referendum is no more there. Nobody gives you referendum again. Because they have taken option, another option. Nobody gives you referendum again. And IPOB refused to take gun. And then they can't have the right to demand for referendum. But some idiot, they say they're autopilot. They say they're in uh, armed struggle. They are there. They're for referendum. These are confused idiots. You can come to a comment section. You write a long English. You don't have any sense. If the two page, it does not mean name a banana. You can know how to drive, but you don't know the road. You don't know road, but in motor did you understand? If they join here in Swabeke, in Asubeke, what you are doing, do you know it? You declare I'm sorry, you are out of everything civility. You don't call for sit at home. Go to Okeanya. You declare I'm sorry. You call, you talk about a fighter jail, you talk about she war fighter, you talk about people you kill. Although you can never de call for referendum. That's why we declare we launched ESM and separated them. You can never see them in IPOB meeting. You can never see ESM, IPOB lawyers telling you they're in court today to defend ESM. You can never see IPOB in court in solidarity with the ESM member taken to court. You, have you ever seen ESM member in court? Have you? Show us. And now we know we know what we are doing. Only IPOB family members, you can see the lawyers defending in court. Have you ever seen ESM in court? You can never see ESN in court. They are in another side. Whatever they see there, they take there. They don't come to IPOB meeting. In your meeting in Germany, do you have ESN? Because IPOB is the same all over the world. In your meeting in USA, do you have ESN? That have gone, come to meeting and come with the gun. In Biafra land, 
Okay, in the zoo, Nigeria, both Lagos and Yoruba land, both everywhere outside northern land. Do you come to IPOB meeting, you see ESN with God? In Biafra land, you come to IPOB meeting, do you see ESN? You know, some people don't know that we do not just come, we know what we are doing. We know what we are doing. Now the U.S. have been attracted because IPOB have maintained the lane. They now go through the backyard instead of covering their face in shame, telling us they want to partner with betrayers to develop our land after giving us 20 pounds, after killing us. You want to develop our land. Which development? Are we sleeping in the bushes? You don't develop the north that are sleeping in the bushes. You don't know the people that uh, occupy bushes. You don't know people that don't have a house. You don't know the people that are the most poor in the world, the northern Nigeria. You don't know the people that are beggars in northern Nigeria. You don't know the people that are going through deadly diseases. Northern Nigeria. You don't take development there. You bring development to people that build their own markets. They build their houses. They are the tenants. They are the landlords. The people of Biafra. We are the driver. We are the conductor. We are the importer. We are the driver. We are the offloader. We are the owner of the shop. We are the tenant. We are the consumer. We are the distributor. We are the retailer. We are the wholesaler. Imagine the kind of people you are bringing. You, you, say, you are talking about development. Who needs your development? We develop our... We build, we build schools. Communities build schools in Biafra land. How many communities build schools in the north? Go and develop north. Say develop east. Develop development of east. British project of how many years? Mad people everywhere. Let us pray on this point. Then we move. Nare kele naro tuto naro jijama na nambuli elu nari chisi buchi na di rebi ebi odi onyaji atu nere gichi nere kem bochi chini nere kem dai pio bi emaila emaila chini nere kem namdika no chini nere kem ojuku chini nere kem ndaya ojuku chini nere kem ESN chini nere kem din nana ya chop tara yiri chini nere kem din nana ya nchop tara ya ordinala chini nere kem din nana ya Nchop tranya aku kwa ugu. Nda ija aku wangu yang jata. Nare ke le naro tutu. Naro jita ma nanambu lelu. Ni hii hii ne mara hii. Ni hii nebo chi. Na hagi chi. Uku okike. Abia amana pro ime ihe ni ile. We have prayed. Ise. 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 Thank you. We move. Thank you. My brother. The latest development we need now in Biafra land is freedom of Namdika. That is the only thing. The freedom of Namdika will give birth to Biafra referendum. We have been developing our land by ourselves. Why Ohaneze Ndibo have been kicking against development in our land? Ohanez Ndibo is an anti-development in Biafra land. How come the British did not go to IPOB for development of our land? How come if they want the success of our place? Why didn't they go to IPOB? They went to anti-development department. That is the gang. These people are gang. Anti-development gang. They called Ohanes and Deep. These people are anti-development in the East. And you think British don't know? British are aware that they have been using them to bring um, to bring darkness in our land. Or treachery. And British went on and abandoned their duty, their citizen, Namdekan, that was a sonary rendition, not arrested in Nigeria, a sonary rendition, not even a sonary rendition. He undergone torture in this British citizen, high profile Namdekan, 
well known in the world. British overlook him. They left him in detention, even as he suffered to secure court ruling of the same Nigeria. British did not do anything. And British turned around. The woman that took the contract to kidnap Namdekano, Katrona Line, the very devil, who tortured Namdekano, her citizen, Katrona Line, kidnapped Namdekano, tortured Namdekano, who was here, Namdekano was discharged. Katrona Line left Namdekano, her citizen. Katrona Line, the, when the British want to deal with your mentality, they say she was sacked. Sacked what? When she was sacked, was her crime sacked? Was her crime sacked? Was the crime of Katrina Lyon sacked? Her crime was not sacked. The Katrina Lyon was sacked. Mad people. A woman that kidnapped her citizen. A woman that had been instructing how to torture her citizen. A woman that planned to kill her citizen in Kenya. Katrina Lyon. A British High Commission. Planned to kill Namdekan in Kenya. It failed. She came here. She started visiting, visiting Northerners visiting uh, um, attorney general, visiting them, telling them what to do to Namdekano, visiting army, army headquarters, telling them how to deploy army to kill us, you know, in the Biafra land, uh, meeting governors from the east, telling them uh, to, uh, to come down, that she's in charge. So whatever that happened in the east now, that they should come down, that she's in charge. Anything that happened, they should cool down, because you know what is happening. That's how they caged them, Katrina line. After all, they tried to deceive her. They said she was sacked. And they brought another person. They now came back to dance on the tune of IPOB because we never fall in their tune of violence. They now come back. They follow the backyard. They said, okay. Okay, she's now the British consular on UK, on the UN panel, you see. She had been promoted for killing their friends. So Katrina Line is now the, the British consulate on the UN panel, right? After killing us, now she had been promoted for kidnapping, for attempting to kill her citizen in America, in Kenya, in a foreign country. Katrina Line had been promoted to the British consulate on the UN panel. You see, this thing now take me back to during the very genocide in that very slogan of the Nigerian invaders called army. Capture Ojuku, double pay. Capture Zakon, double pay. Okay, and the ambassador to Somalia, okay. Capture Mbo, double pay. Capture Fibo, double pay. Capture Omae, double pay. Capture Wari, double pay. Capture um, Enugu, double pay. Capture Wari, double pay. Capture, uh, what is it called? Uyo, double pay. Uyo was in there. Capture Aba, double pay. Capture Nsuka, double pay. Capture, uh, what is it called? Oka, double pay. Capture Newi, double pay. These very places in Biafra land. Capture Bakariki, double pay. Capture Iwata, they call it Potako, double pay. Capture Owe, double pay. Right? Capture Kiwe, double pay. Now, what was the double pay? I'm still calling back to Katrina Line. The double pay was that Abasanjo, as an army commander, he ruled Nigeria. 1976 to 79. He now came again, double pay. 2000, 2000, uh, 1999 to 2007, double pay. Now you get it. What about one? He was governor to Katsina State. He now overthrew Shagar. He ruled. You know, those things are not overthrown. Just your turn. Both of us and your own. He came in after the Dinka killed Madla Mohammed. Abbasanjo and Yala Dwai, Musa, not Omaru, not Omaru that uh, just died. Musa, the general. Now, let me move forward. Buhari came and took his double pay. First one, 1983, against Shagari. 
second one, 2015, right? So 2017, he died, double pay, and the, the cabals, they took over, right? Now, all of those people that they led in the war, those they commanded, you know, they are the war commanders. There are people they were, they are commanding them. Those people were appointed the military administrators. Now, some of them died. Their children are now into politics. Do you understand? Their children are being compensated in politics. Watch or just follow them. All those people that you hear the name in politics, somehow they must have betrayed their. In short, when, if you are in the east, you are a betrayer. You are from the east, you are a betrayer of your people. If you are from the north or south, you contributed. That is, in the killings, in the massacre of Biafras, either during the genocide or after the genocide, you must have contributed in the punishment of Biafra before you get any appointment in Nigeria. Then let us go forward. We don't know that it is also happening in the British. After all, they are the people that initiated it. So they brought it down here. Right? Catherine Alain kidnapped Namdekan. Catherine Alain tortured Namdekan to death. He didn't die. Catherine Alain injured Namdekan. He, he gave him Namdekan injury all over his body. Catherine Alain lied that she gave British uh, consular assistant to Namdekan. It was a lie. Catherine Alain never seen Namdekan until she left her citizen. Catherine Alain, right? Now, Catherine Alain was there. Namdekan, a British citizen, was discharged. Catherine Alain didn't say anything when Nigeria disobeyed Kotoda. Since how many months? Since October till today. They have brought another one. Is it Monte Montegre or what? What do they call him? Montegre. Now, this one is Montegre. After the plan, all the setup of the British former high commission to Nigeria, Catron Alain failed by trying to bring IPOB into violence. Catron Alain planned infiltrators. They set up infiltrators. Catron Alain engineered many things. Catron Alain wanted to create IPOB faction. It didn't work. Catron Alain, after all, they now organized and say, let us take this one to go through Politica. Let us go through Politica. How, why do they come into development? They came into development because IPOB leadership are very well blessed by God. How? Okay. Monte, but no, you need to write it again. Right? Take if you made mistake. We move. IPOB started campaigning for the coming back of our people to the east. Do you understand? Now, and it is all about saving our lives and also developing our land. And on this very process, IPOB leadership started publishing the communities, the cities, everything, both companies, development in Biafra land. We started publishing it to our people and to the world to see that there are places our people can come back and stay. And that is their home. There are better places for business. There are homes. There are places for, for what is it called? Tourism. We have every other, we have everything. Is it good hotels? Everything. We have them here. Just that very Nigerian policy of denying us airport, international airport, denying us um, the seaport, denying us, because when they deny you international airport and seaport, they automatically deny you the presence of international communities because there will be no um, embassy in your land. So there is no single foreign embassy in our land. Thereby, they denied us presence of international um, foreign people. The only foreigners in our land are those that came to steal from our resources, right? Those that conspire with Nigeria to kill us and take our resources. They are the only foreigner you can see here. 
and those that our politician brought in in the name of engineer to come and steal our money the engineer or a, a, a Arab contractor they are this those people they brought in those are the people you can see here thieves apart from that can you show me um foreigner that is just here living his life in our land we are the only people managing ourselves now upon that we could be able to present developed places in our land upon the 20 pounds upon the bombardment during the genocide upon the killings upon everything in the 2022 2023 in short, 2023, we could be able to publish beautiful town cities, markets in Biafra land, despite 20 pounds. Now, the British now, okay, thank you. Okay, Montgomery, okay, thank you, thank you. Now we move. Now, the British now know that the only way to queue in is through that development we are talking about. That is what we are holding at hand. We told you they are following us. They are following us up. They are following our activities. They know we are now talking about developing our land, bringing our people back home, and that is almost the end of Nigeria, right? They don't even care about their citizen Namdekan. They don't even care about disobedient to Kotoda. They don't even care about his health condition. They now try to kill because we have refused to buy the idea of armed struggle. They are now queuing. But they are following the wrong track because if you want anything that will pay our people good, follow IPOB. They will bring good idea that our people will benefit from. Why we walk, we still fight for their far isolation. But the British follow um, anti-development group, which is our name in Debo, because they want to kill in. What do they come with? They want to partner with Ohane Zendibu in development of, they are not talking about the East, though. they talk about Southeast. Thank you. They talk about the Southeast, right? Now, they want to queue in, and they thought that we will buy the idea, immediately they mentioned development. We we'll say, okay, yes, we need development. They don't know that these people, they call their name, are anti-development our land. Did you understand? If they want develop, to develop our land from a little thing, from, to give us little from the, what they stole from our land, follow IPOB. There is a list Namdekan was submitted to the governors. We still have that list. The only one we have just seen is um, Second Niger Bridge. So if the British want to do something, go to IPOB. We have list already. And that list has nothing to do with Biafra restoration, right? But if they think they now changed, they now love our land that they met, they call Russia, they call many countries to come and bombard or to supply ammunition to destroy. Suddenly, they now love him, uh, love our land to be developed. The British now meet IPOB. We still have list. The list is still there. None have been done. Only the uh, second Niger bridge have been touched. So if you go, I probably will submit it to you. You continue. Ohaneza has nothing to do. And the, whatever you do with Ohaneza has nothing to do with IPOB. Our determination in restoring Biafra because we have died. So this is to prove to our people that IPOB is on the right track. The British wouldn't have meet or call, tell you they will meet with Ohaneza or they will be in partner with Ohaneza. If we are in armed struggle, if you are in armed struggle, they will meet up with what you have, what you have, that you are holding at hand. They will come with the gun. They will come with the gun. But because we did not go into armed struggle, the British came with the political solution. But in a wrong way and unacceptable manner. That is unacceptable manner. Do you now see that IPOB is very, very wise? We know where to touch them. Anybody you see supporting violence in our land is evil. 
I don't know how to glass or how to TV. Only my hand has been on the phone. Only my hand has been on the phone. You see this people that they walk in your land that cannot stop their foot in any part of the north. They are the devil. These people have planned with the British to destroy our land, but IPOB said no. All our exposition, they are following us. The British are keenly following us. They are following IPOB activities. They knew we have never deviated. They knew we have never deviated. And they have seen it. What do they do? They finally come. But they have come late. Development. So, this has been the pattern British have been using on our fathers. Maybe, but I thought our fathers are very wise. So, if these are the presentation that the British have been coming with, then those that have been accepting it are evil. Those that have been accepting it are evil. No one than Bon have been calling Zeke, telling him, no, 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 this one Nigeria. So Zeke are the people that have been accepting this kind of rubbish. So this thing, kind of thing will be presented to somebody and somebody will accept it upon the condition of your people. Did you understand? The British killed us. Now, when they want to make Emmanuel Iwanyan or Hanez Ndibu chairman, they first of all tested him, his faith, to see how wicked he can be to his people. Do you know what Emmanuel said? He said, if not for Obasanjo and the Gowan, that he don't know what would have been the end of our people. That it is taking of us and job and the go on for the role they played. That is, you must betray your people or fight them. You must first of all promote, that is, you must promote your enemy, the enemy of your people, before you be appointed. Now you know that none of the Johannese chief have been appointed by the Easterners. Unless you went to Pasukoy and those were there. Right? Now, as, now you see why Iwanyahu came up. They sent him. I make a video for that. They sent him to be with Obasanjo. And started, but that is, he must have, he first of all, praise Obasanjo. So that Obasanjo can clearly hold the mic. He created grants for Obasanjo. He praised Obasanjo. So that Obasanjo can kill him. Right? Very soon you see Obasanjo, what he will play. You know, they are sending him to occasions now. There is something he wants to do. That's why you see him in some gathering. He will now be there giving speech. There is something they are planning with him. Do you understand? Now, people are distracting me. Some on call. They we, we move, we continue. So now, thank you. That time they have been deceiving us have come and ended. Now, let us continue. You see why Iwanya was praising a passenger because they are planning, planning he, they are setting him up to be used, to be used against his people. They are setting him up to be used against his people. In this very condition of our people, in this very situation, they do not accept us in any part of Nigeria. They do, they do not accept us to be free from Nigeria. They don't want to allow us to be free. Then they do not welcome us in any part of Nigeria. Do you understand? Now, the British High Commission, as a new High Commission in to Nigeria, what should have been his first move to make the people of the East to know that he is a new High Commission? To correct things, has he not been hearing our complaint of the evil of Katona Line? Have he not been seeing 
our campaign for the freedom of Namdekan, and he is here. He now went through backyard. Instead of following the door, which is free Namdekan, the only development, the higher joy, even mad people will get themselves. There's no development you can bring here that can cure mad people. That can make a sick man, a sick person, to be healed, right? There's no nothing. What are you? So you develop here, and then it's a part to be. So for us to overlook our problems, though it is still here, the only thing that can make our BP to be normal is free Namdekan. We are not asking for freedom of Namdekan as in at least uh, on baseless grant, no. We are telling you about free Namdekan based on court order. Not on begging anybody. We are not begging anybody. We are not uh, going to trial. We are not we are not begging anybody. We say free Namdekan as ordered by Nigerian court. Why did this very high commission not demand for free Namdekan first? He go for development. How did he want to come in? He want to come into IPOB. How? The game they use P2B to play have failed. The game they use P2B to play failed. Do you understand? They knew P2B will not win, but only to take the mind of our people away from agitation. To see if those they, they bribed and contracted can manipulate our brain to abandon Biafra and say we follow Igbo man. And when you abandon Biafra, you follow Igbo man for presidency. Immediately the person fell. If you come back to Biafra, they will say you are, you are useless. That you don't have base. But why it fell is because we still remain on our ground. Even as people want out and do politics and the people that is their own business, when they do their business of voting and sell, when they return back home, they saw that IPOB is still here. The whole world saw that IPOB is still there on the agitation. The IPOB never move an inch. And this is why we are telling our people, never you buy the idea of violence. The only pattern Nigeria love is violence. Because the British, in, imagine the Western world, before they come into your country and take anything or start helping you, they will engineer crisis. They will engineer violence. They will make sure there is trouble. They don't come to help people that are at peace. They don't come to uh, help people that are feeding very well. So if there is none, no problem, they will create one. That is the key of the reply of Katro, um, of um, the reply of, uh, what is his name? Macaulay, British diplomat. The key of his reply to the British, to the colonial, they asked him, that, is, that was 1835. Macaulay, they asked him, what, do you, what did you discover from these people? He said that this is the only nation I have been on earth in the world. And I did not see a single beggar. A beggar. And they are strong. Look, fighting, that is working for what they will eat. Now, with this point, we don't need help. That's what Macaulay told them. With this point, you cannot colonize them. One, they have food. They have government. Did you understand? They have culture. You cannot colonize them. Now, they asked him, what can we do 
to conquer them. He now told them that you will take away their culture, you will take away their spiritual belief, then you take away their language. But what actually attracted this thing is because we didn't need help. We are eating. So they need to manipulate our belief so that they can conquer us. Because when they manipulate it, some will believe, some not believe. Then those that did not believe, they will now conquer them. Using them as anti. Using them against you that believe. That's how they came. That's how they, if you see, you know that it is faction. They always create faction. They come to community, they create those that will not believe in Peter Kola, which they know is not evil. We eat it as one love. That is, you cannot kill your brother if you put hand in that very place and take it. It's just a, like covenant. How do I put it? Right? If you do it and kill your brother, your home will be desolate. The white people, in that very um, response from Macaulay, you take away their uh, spiritual belief. That thing is part of our spiritual belief. They now divided, they created faction. Some of those, uh, some people will be, uh, because of their religion, if you bring out Kola, no? You say it's a it's a menala, it's a evil, it's devil. But it is oracle eating together. In Christianity, I think Jesus did it. Though he wasn't a Christian, he was a Jewish. But Christians are using it. Let us call it Christianity. He gave them bread. Oh, what is it called? They say it's actually what? He gave them, he says his body. He gave them drink. He says it's his blood. But this drink is our, this very drink is our pan drink or drink we drink from the same cup. This very cool or not is the architecture he gave to you. But we have been doing it before he came. His, his own is 2000 and something years. Our own is 5000 and. Do you understand that Oriko? It is the same Oriko. It is no, 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 it is not, it is Oriko. If you eat with me, you now come against me, the same thing will return to you. Now let us move forward. Now, our message to them is that this very generation of Biafra are very, very ready and prepared to develop Biafra land. And they are open to partner with any country pertaining the development of Biafra land. But it must be under a free Biafra nation, not under Nigeria. Can you now understand? British, can you now understand? Yes, nobody can deceive us again. Simple. Do you understand? So we know what we want. The very simple two primary demands of IPOB is still there. Freedom the can and death for the Afro freedom. This very thing supersedes any kind of British development. It supersedes them. British did not go to Lagos and tell them, stop fighting the citizens of Nigeria. You know, it is the British that had the right to come up and say these people are citizens of Nigeria because they created them. But the British created Nigeria and the same Nigerians started killing the same Nigerians in the Lagos, destroying their goods, burning down their shops, destroying their house, demolishing it, even killing them, stop them from voting. The same British that own Nigeria, the same ghosts of Nigeria that created Nigeria, the same British that gave the world reason why they amalgamated the South and the North. The same British was quiet. When the animals they gathered together started coming against each other, a particular people, 
The British did not go to Nigeria and say, this is not what we created. Did the British go to the Lagos? Had British go? No, he left where there is problem. He went in. That the British High Commission. And you see that bit and back. I told our people, immediately they are delaying the result. There is problem. Immediately they are delaying the result. There is problem. There must be negotiation. They will pressure you. Both those down, the one who, that is number one, number two. They will go into agreement full and they will draw you closer. They will tell you if you sign this one, you'll be announced the winner. If you sign this one, you'll be announced the winner. And they will tell the second and they will tell the first. So anyone that let that win, they are in the right position. And Peter and Brown was uh, uh, very, very fast, you know. You know, he, he may have, he didn't win. And the Nigerian Fulani and the British, they always used those that didn't win. That's why they will use Tinubu very well. He didn't win. They will try to put somebody that didn't win so that they can persuade you. They will always threaten you with your rigging, your rigged in. That's why they rigged the governor of Lagos in. They allowed them to do everything, stop uh, their friends from voting. The British was there. Everybody was there. Because if you are being rigged in, you will be used. That's why the minute they rig you in, you become a chaff. They will be controlling you. They will be commanding you because before you was rigged in, you reach in agreement with them. Tinubu will be used. Tinubu and his red is now signing many things. He signed. He signed. Full and he will bring. He will sign. Full and he will bring. He will sign. Because he was rigged in. If you win a election, there are things you will say I will not do. That's why they fought Jonathan. Jonathan won election. Thereby he resisted some, he said no to some things because he was voted in. And there is no way they will allow people that are voted in properly to be in position. Unless you are evil, they know that whether you are voted in or not, you must practice the evil. Because if you are not a leader in Nigeria, if you are a leader in Nigeria, you don't know evil, you will be out. Do you understand? That is what they are doing. That's how they do it. Now, this state and back, they wait on all about one week before they, are, uh, they announce it. They are now telling him, will you sign also one? You know, he gave them land that about five communities have that land. He signed it before they announced the election result. That state and back from Nkano, he did not sign it in Nkano. He went to Nsoka, he gave them land there. In Amufu, in the, in the land of Yamufu, Peter and Bar sold it out. To Fulani, before the announcer, announcement of the result, five communities have the land there. I will get the name of that very place. In Yamufu, Peter and Bar. They gave him contract to fight IPOB, Peter and Bar. He now wants to create insecurity so that he will be getting money. Peter and Bar. That's why immediately he came in. He's only statement. I am burning sit at home as if there is anything sit at home. Do you understand? He never said, I am burning rearing of cow in the bushes on the further notice. He never says so. These are the areas that you can hear cries. Nobody cries over sit at home. Nobody say, I am done, you know, sit at home in a look because there is nothing. Those things are gradually coming down. But the things we are hearing the news about every minute in Enugu, full and killing our people, full and killing, police killing, everybody killing our people. Peter and Bad did not hold on it. Because he want to create his security so that he will get money. He want to destroy Enugu. So that is, our people can understand it and get the point. This is what we are facing. Now we move again to that British High Commission, this new one, you say, is it Montegri? Or is it, uh, Mo what is his name? Montemogri, is that? Mont <laughs> that is his name, is very, very, somehow. But we move. We move. Very soon, I have a battalion. I am not going to get this. Oh, but I Audio.
Another confirmation. The audio is okay. It's okay here. We move. Take. We move. So let us continue. I need confirmation. I need another confirmation. Is my voice coming out? Is it clear now? Okay, 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 okay. It's all right. Now we move. So, this British, this British High Commission, my sister, remind me his name again. Write that his name here again, please. He never go to Lagos. He never go to Lagos and condemn the killings of the Nigerians, the, the people they amalgamated together. They are destroying their properties. But they amalgamated them together. They get the statement of creation. As God uh, gave statement of creation. So the creation or creation of the world. Now Nigeria, um, the British gave the statement of creation of Nigeria and the reason why they created Nigeria. You know, British are the gods of Nigeria. And that is why they are on a better position to tell any part of Nigeria those that are citizens and those that are not citizens. The British are, okay, thank you, Montgomery, okay, Montgomery. They are in the better position, Montgomery, you are in the better position to go and tell the Yoruba people that you amalgamated them together with the East, that they should stop killing the East, Easterners in Yoruba land. Why did you not go there and tell them to stop demolition, demolition, demolition their properties? Go there now, because you told the world that the reason of creating them together is because the North is too poor. And that is the statement of the creator of Nigeria. Underline statement. How, why they created Nigeria? Why they created Nigeria? <laughs> it's because not is poor. Imagine a statement, an invalid statement, a statement that is not presentable. And people clap then, not in this generation. Bring it, let us lie and eat. You bring such statement to this generation. This kind one they brought. We are in, in a partner. We want to go into partnership with Ohanese. Can't you go into partnership with the IPOD? That knows what is good for our people. Go into partnership now with IPOD. So are you not afraid? Because you don't want development in our land. If you want development, follow the right track. Let us give you the remaining. In then the canoes list to Ohanese. We have the list now. Uh, so they have not done anyone. Only uh, second Niger Bridge. So if you need it, IPOB will give it to you. We have them. Mad people everywhere. What are they developing? They demolish our land with the bombardment. They killed us. After all, they brought 20 pounds. After then, they gave us the, the, what is it called? Another one was abandoned property. But after all this, things, we have markets, we have houses of any kind in Biafra land today. We have companies, individual, you, private, not government. We are into transportation, we are into, we are into everything. We develop our land. We develop our land. And IPOB is open to partner with any country. But it must be under a free Biafra nation. Because we have been totally rejected by the Nigerian states. We are not as uh, acceptable anywhere. Anywhere, even to be in any part of Nigeria, we are not accepted. But we are the people developing their land. Have the British spoken? No. 
this man refused to correct anything. Which is to say, he has come to finish what Katrina line, where Katrina line stopped, so that he can be promoted on his own. These qualities of British High Commission in Nigeria are being planned in the British UK. It is not done here in Nigeria. This is what they are doing. They plan the kidnapping of their citizens in Namde Khan. They plan his killings in Kenya. They plan everything. He didn't die. They now say bring him back. They, when they brought him back, Katrina Lai was in charge of deployment of army. Katrina Lai was in charge of preparing of charges by uh, Malami. Katrina Lai prepared charges against citizens. Katrina Lai was there. His citizen, uh, her citizen destroyed all the charges in court, defeated Nigeria, and he was decided and acquitted. Katrina Lai abandoned his uh, citizen. Katrina Lai had been promoted. to UK consulate in UN, right? So what are we saying? Are you now aware that what Katrina did, Katrina Line did by kidnapping an American was the British policy? If it wasn't in line with their policy, why? It was why should Katrina Line be promoted? Even double promotion. Why should Katrina Line be promoted? Can you understand now? Now, this one now has come in line. The, you would have, if an IPOB follow arms struggle, this very high commission wouldn't have been sent to Nigeria. They would have sent a military one. Somebody would be those ones that knows how to fight war. Do you understand? If you are in, if you declare, if you say you start war now, they will change the high commission. UK High Commission to Nigeria. Are you aware? This one they sent here now is the one for political solution. The British is very, very wise. If we are into war, they will change this one now. They will have reason to remove. If you, if you start war now, they will change this one. They will send military man. That is how they do. But this one now came to come and do politics in line with Katrina line. He now says he's coming to develop this. Which is Go and stop the killings of our people in Lagos. Not stop the coming back of our people to their fellow. No, that one is unstoppable. Just go there and condemn it. Condemn it because you created Nigeria. Go and condemn it. Now, the Nigeria you created have held your citizen, Namdekan, unlawfully. You cannot even confront the Nigeria you created. And you jump up, you say you want to develop the East, you planned how the East will be. What are you developing again? Are you not the one who went against the agreement of one indivisible Nigeria that Ojuku went with the Gowan? They went to Ghana and discussed Nigeria. They agreed on Nigeria. They signed Nigeria. And they came back to Nigeria. And the British said no to Nigeria. But the British created Nigeria. The British told the one to say no to the Nigeria they created. In order to massacre us. Did Ojuku go to Ghana to discuss the answer? The answer is no. Is it not Nigeria that Ojuku went to Ghana and discuss? Now we are asking you, the British, why did you? decided to massacre us after going to Ghana and discussed, then agreed on one Nigeria. Ojuku said, they forced us out of Nigeria. Two of us, did you not force us out? We went and discussed Nigeria, you said, go and kill them. Are you killing us with the name of Nigeria and they want us to be defending ourselves with the name of Nigeria? It is impossible. 
We went and discussed Nigeria, signed Nigeria. We came back here. You disagree with Nigeria, and you started killing us. And you want us to remain to be defending ourselves with the name of Nigeria. We are not middle belt. We are not middle belt that have been foolishly massacred by Fulani with the name of Nigeria. They continue. With, they continue with Nigeria today. If you kill us, you kill the Afrans. It is as simple as that. We cannot be killed by Nigerians and will be answering Nigeria. What kind of rubbish is that? It is better you wipe us out. I cannot be answering Nigeria, they'll be killing me. So, Ojuku ended up in defending our land with another name. And what, that is our name. You cannot say we are Nigerians, you disagree with the agreement. We signed the Nigeria, continuous Nigeria. That's what we signed. You disagreed. Two of us. British, you told the ambassador in Lagos to take one to disagree. But he said one Nigeria. And we went and discussed one Nigeria. But the, the one Nigeria we discussed resulted to the killings of our people, destroying of our communities, destroying of everything. And after the genocide, the policy was made. No international report. No seaport, nothing. And we can never rule Nigeria. Now we ask you, what was our offense that brought to the genocide? We want to know. What actually attracted that very genocide? What did we commit? Were we wrong to go and discuss Nigeria? agreed on Nigeria and signed in Nigeria. We did not do wrong. Then why uh, why did you resort that? Why was, did you gang up and started killing us? Yes, now. Have they placed any sanction on Nigeria? Do you know how many months it is? Since October 3rd today, how many months? No single sanction from the British. They are the people that are keeping in Namdekan. We are aware. That's why we are exposing them before the world. They are following us up. They have agents. They have Nigeria agents. People they recruited. All these idiots on social media, they recruited them. They are following us up, giving them updates. You know, there is no job in Nigeria. So all of us, you may be posting on your wall. He said, the one idiot to come and tell you, go to Abuja, the government is not listening. They are not reading this thing you are writing because the person is a fool. And he called it social media where anybody can jam what you wrote. Anybody can jam it. Right? Now you see that they are fooling us. People are giving them report of what we are saying. When they incite or uh, whether they use the media or they use infiltrator to come up with instigation or certain confusion or Propaganda or allegation against IPOB, they will not monitor it. They monitor our response. They monitor where we are driving to. After monitoring, they get the result. They say no. They will now say we did not hook. That one didn't work. They will call the infiltrator and say, apply this one. That's why infiltrators doesn't care whether the one they said have happened. Because they are not in charge of themselves. Do you understand? It is only a madman that will keep doing the same wrong thing every day and every minute. Infiltrator chief have been trying to implement the, the oppressor's agenda. None have ever come to pass. But do you know the funny thing now to know that he is not independent? Is that whether that one work or not, he, they will tell him to implement this one. And the, these very British have taken the result of that one. And they will tell him to implement this one. And they will take it to their room. They will be checking it. They will be reading it. And they will get meaning out of that. They will tell him to do this one. That one will be on. They will know that that one is not working. They will tell him to do this one. This one will be on. They will call the infiltrator and say, doing this one, they're doing this one. That will be going. They will not tell him, do this one. No one has ever worked. 
No one that they tell infiltrator to do have ever worked. Now you see. They destroy the scientists politicians by using them earlier. How did they destroy them? They use them wrongly so that their people will hate them. And immediately their people hate them, they become a free tool in the hand of the oppressors. How? The oppressor will always hang them or telling them that they have no place to hide, that the people don't love them. Therefore, they should welcome any idea from the government to defeat their people. The, if it, the Fulani will tell them, your lives are in danger. You know your people don't no longer love you. They, tell you the, they used to tell the governors, they don't love you. So, keep, you must do this thing. Do this thing. You can, your people rejected you. So, you have to be with the federal government. Federal government will save you. So, when they are doing those things, Fulani is now seeing it that they have separated them from their brothers. Those that can come for their rescue. Now, immediately they see that they have separated them from their brothers by forcing them to weaken their people. Fulani now have the chance and the right over their life. Fulani can arrest them anytime. Fulani can flog them anytime. Fulani can use them anytime. Fulani, because Nobody will defend them. They did it to a matter. They will make sure you hate, your people hate you. Through your attitude, they will give you attitude. They will tell you what to do. They will hate you. You think you are doing it right. Immediately they hate you, they will trap you. They didn't tell Joseph how many, body, how many people can protest for Joseph. Apart from people who gathered and give money. How many people can protest to any governor if you have been arrested now? Unless you gather them and give them money. Now you see, they will use them. You see, we can how many people unless a party people you give money. If they catch you, they know that they have forced you to harm your people, and they will make sure they will be monitoring and make sure that your people have hated have hated you. Do you know that time is when Fulani now have the ground to use you. They'll be using you negatively against your people to the extent that when you want to stop, you will see no chance to stop. Now you see that those governors they used to fight IPOB, they have removed them. They, they have finished their tenure. And they have useless them. None of them have honor. Do you understand? They use them to kill their people. You cannot have honor. They will make you to be wicked. Why do the fool and they become free? The same thing they want to use on the canon. They want to use the Mako and Canon and, and the broad family and kill on the can. And fool and will be free in the name of surgery. They will tell him that they cannot sign it by himself. They will bring it and show you. You become a fool. In honor of they must always try to play safe. That's the pattern of land. They will always try to play safe. But they will use your brother. When they see that they have separated you from your, uh, separated that politician from his own people, her daughter Zaya, they will now use them anyhow. Do you now understand? So that is what we are telling them. That is why I am saying so much else. Adam down. So, but uh, we cannot, we cannot, um, that us not your complaint. Abani, I am with Adam Abba. But we don't, we move. So, the only development we need now, we are meaning is all to allow our Hawkman. The only development we need now is. Freedom, they can. Freedom, they are freedom. He has been discharged by the court. His freedom and death for their freedom. That's all. Nobody can come here and they, they try to use development. Is it because we publish good, good places in Biafra land? We now decide to go home. 
You now come in the name of uh, development. Developing where? We know the food they eat. You know, they told us. And the leadership knew it. Immediately they threw it. Look at the British Russia. Because we have started telling the world, uh, discover the Afra land. Discover the Afra land. Come and develop your land. Immediately Soludo said, come back here. Then uh, they see the news trending. They now see other people are telling you, come back home. The British now use political solutions. They now took key from Ohanese. But Ohanese are rejected people. British now, you know. So you want to be dancing on our tune. We are talking about development. You are talking about, about development. So you want to convince the world. You want to convince the world that the Nigerian state is now developing the East. The British, all this your politics we know. So that the Nigerian state, because there are arguments on international tables. <laughs> Before they come up with this kind of thing, there are arguments on international tables. And the British want to play safe. If they now say that they are in tie, they now in partner with Ohanese, they will tell you that they are opening something in Enugu. They will not tell you they are opening something in Oweri. They will not tell you they are opening in Calabar. Uh, they are opening another one in Omaha. It's a lie. Anything, any love the British can show you without showing their citizen and the kind of love, that one is fake love. How can somebody abandon his child and uh, uh, that uh, is in danger? They are killing your child. Your child is about to die. You leave your child, you travel to another place. You say, I want us to partner. I want to develop your place. But your child has not been saved. Namde Kano is in the same country. You want to develop. So Nigeria is keeping your citizen in detention illegally. And you want to develop Nigeria. I think the East, as you created it, is part of Nigeria. To you now, right? Now we ask you, is it not your duty to free your citizen first before you develop the people that are holding your citizen? How can you abandon your citizen and the can in Nigerian detention? And you want to develop Nigeria. You want to partner with a particular group to develop one part of, one part of Nigeria. I am confused. I don't understand. I don't understand that my child is in DSS and the illegally detained. I now say, okay, I want to partner with one group. I want to go and develop. So, so, so the same people that are, I have, that is, I'm supposed to take to court. I want to go and develop their land. So you want to develop one part of Nigeria, southeast. But you abandon your citizen. I am confused here. Do they think they are talking to Zik? No, these British, do they think that they are talking to the children of Zik? Or they are talking to Martin Elitch? The former governor of Ebony State, a betrayer, saboteur, who was taking the Nigerian soldiers, pointing at where their people are hiding. And that's why he received double pay, ruling Ebony State. It's a double pay. You betray your people, you get double pay. Go and ask the other one, is it Geoffrey Onyama? Ugo Onyama. His father is very wicked. There is a place called Ugo Onyama in Enugu. That's his father, Onyama, Geoffrey Onyama. Right? A full betrayal. You must, you must get double pay. Go to the history of the young world. You will know that you must betray to get double pay. Your father must be involved in wickeding your people or your great grandfather. Then you'll be compensated by this time. So the British thought that these are the generation they are approaching. If you present this British um, statement to the Primary school, a Biafra land now. They will tell me it's a lie. Primary school students, take it to any primary school and tell them that the British want to partner with our hands and develop our land. The children will be laughing at you. They will laugh at you. They know you are lying. 
the British, they ask you, is it the same British that starved children like us for three years to death? Is it the same British? That's what our children will ask. Are you telling us that it's the same British that starved children like us to death? Or you think they have not watched the pictures and see children like them that have big head, have big, big tummy, have small hands? Their eyes are inside. Our children will debunk this very news. <laughs> they think they are talking to sick children. <laughs> no, you are talking to Bonosik children. Ojuku children. Mawa. Madebu. Onwa Tuegu. Atuze Nzogo, Philip Ession, and all the rest of them, even those that are not soldiers, but they are good leaders. We cherish their efforts. These very British should know that. This very generation of Biafra are something else. We are completely different from what you are thinking. Predicting us this time around is stupidity. You cannot predict us. Do you know why? We, we are not flexibly trained. We were born in poverty. We were born in suffering. We were born under 20 pounds. We were born under abandoned property. We were born under denial of um, citizen. If you agree that you are Igbo man, you will not get job. We were born under torture. You cannot compare us with those that was born in a very good environment. So we grow in a very hard condition. And we are, our men, mental, our brain are strong, that is, I don't know how to qualify it. In short, we have seen torture and we are mentally equipped. Only torture can make you to equip yourself. You will not wait for anybody to equip you. You will plan your life. We planned our life. We planned our future. We determined to make it. And that is why we are doing it by ourselves today. Because we have seen what we have achieved upon the torture, upon the neglect, upon the intimidation. And we know that we, freedom, we can achieve the freedom. And the same thing we are achieving. We have crossed many bridges. And we can never return to those areas. Because people died, many people died on that, those bridges and some crossed. And those that are died, their spirits are there waiting for us. If you try to return back, they will kill you. So when you see some people dreaming that I tell you later go back, are you mad? Go back and do what? The, the road we follow, was it easy? None of the places we follow is, was easy. So we cannot even try to go back. We lost people on those bridges. We lost our people on those bridges and we forced others forced themselves to cross. So if you are thinking or planning that one day IPOB will come back to return where? Do you know where you are pointing? Do you know where you are thinking of returning? Imagine a are you mad? Return where? Go back where? Go back where? And meet the consul and the bridge to push us in, inside, inside the river or, or sea. They are waiting for us there. You can't go back. You are not returning anywhere. We are not returning anywhere. We go there. A woman, we died there. My way cross. That's why people don't know that they are going to take the same boat. They have died. 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 They They have died. They have died. They you are a betrayer. You betrayed them. They died. How can I get a house? You left them. In a kill you. In a map, now I got a coin you. Now I got your mother. 
You are a mother, you go home, mother. You are a betrayer, you are evil. You are agreed with people of hope. They died of the process. It's in a happen. Can you imagine? I never have to correct and I have one for that one. He can never say no. If you have that mind of Fulham, they can, nothing can deceive you. He knew that people have died and he cannot drop it. We did not hear. Is that how you kill us? Because I have the end If we stop now, I'm not alive. And when them do here, they died. They died now. How is them doing? You agree with them, they were happy, they believe that even if they die, you get the answer. You come and they you say you drop, you are, you are a mother, you will suffer, you will suffer. You will suffer, you betray them. You betray them. Did you understand? That is why we are telling our people to abide under the command of IPOB. Only Namdi Kano can answer any question pertaining Biafra. When I know a thing, somebody who enjoy it, he cannot answer you. Enjoy it, he cannot answer you. People that do not even know where a single resource is in Biafra land is, that is where any of the hidden resources in Biafra land are, ah, only Nam Dekan. And I tell Biafra, I mean, we tell Biafra, Oga, Ema, Ema, Onde, Nigeria, Ama. The one you knew are the ones Nigeria knew. Iye Nam Dekan, Oma, Basra Biafra. Nam Dekan, you can man tough leadership, you go 200 and something years. Enye kure ni maba. Teti te abali ke enye li odogu. Se a dura yenga ya. Ufodo ni enye li enye anwa si chago kwa. Maga maga ta se. No mwe ene me kakano. Ava ona abadi. Are you mad? Madu. Me me kakano. That's a question. Kakano. Ba no ne wole na biafra. You are very foolish. You are very very foolish. Some will come and tell you. You are not doing really like a can. You are evil. Madu make a can. Madu. Tike dozi magwagi. Nobody can do like a nam de can. So if you are thinking that any member of DOS will do like our leader, you are getting it wrong. And anybody that is telling you he's doing like our leader, the person is a thief. Zero nya. The person is not sincere. And anybody that tell you that so so, so person is doing like a nam de can. The person is evil more than Nigerian government because nobody is doing like in Nam Dekan. And nobody is even trying to do, talk more of. And nobody can do. But the people, your brain can be manipulated. So, so if I am playing the music of uh, Osadeba now, Osadeba, or you are starting music, or you are, yeah, that is. Do your own. Sing your own. In a repeat, ego. In a copyright, they say, in a copyright, or ego. The right of quote, they are panicking. Go up and say, they are panicking. And then the right one, I say, they are panicking if federal government. Go up and say, IPOB, they are panicking. The right one, I say, the federal government is panicking. But the game will put it, they are panicking. In my IPOB leadership attack, I say, they are panicking. Do you understand the game or to federal government nation? Right? Simple. If they want development, they go to IPO. Any list. I hope I'm not going to be struggle or fight. No. We give you a list. After all, what the British will do to us is from our pocket. It's uh, just a change from what they stole from us. So if they want to do something, we'll give them list. Nigeria have done one. Second Niger Bridge is in the list. So there are other ones. Now they can wrote it. We'll give it to them. 
you follow IPOB if you want our people to know that somebody is talking. But if you call on an easy, that have no address. I've never been to any Biafra land. I say they say, or well, we are in a vehicle. They will say, hey, this is the house of an easy member. Is a lie. I can see the house of a, an actor or actress. I can see the house of a football player. You can even see the house of other politicians, right? Uh -huh. But no, all those positions may be on Hanese members. So. But in their place, nobody knows they are Hanese. Nobody can say, this man, hey, look at his house. We are across a Hanese member house. People that cannot point out a single electric pool and say, this electric pool was, uh, uh, was fixed by a was brought by a Not even a bus stop. He say donated or uh, this thing constructed or uh, established by a Hanese. No one can you show us a market or uh, women this village market that was reconstructed or rehabilitated by a Hanese. Show us so now. Do you see that the British know what they are doing? They go to the anti development, anti development group, which is a Hanese. They're against development. The people that brought Python dance to kill us are the people that British went. The Ohanese indeed will plan it with Katrina Line, Python dance. Katrina Line, champion Python dance. Do you understand? Now, they turn around now to go and call Ohanese. The same Ohanese that Malami uh, Ohanese told us that they will be monitoring the Mekanu case. Ohanese have never given us a report. About what they observed in the Nandekanu case, even today. But they thought we are children of Zeke. When they brought our leader here, they said, I feel they should come down. We'll be monitoring the case. I asked them, look at your hands. You want to be the last man. Your hands to be last man. Manami will be the referee. So, your hands. So, you plan for the kidnapping of Nandekanu. You now want to be the last man in this match. Between us and the British, though they are putting on Nigerian jersey, they are putting on Nigerian jersey. We know that we are playing with the British. That is why we use extraordinary, that is, we think deep. We think deep. We are not dealing with the uh, Nigerians. There is a brain we can use to confront Nigeria. We think deep because we know the people that are putting on the jersey. In this pitch of play, British putting on Nigerian jersey. <laughs> That's why some idiot are shouting war. Well, well, let us try to say you are a fool. British are putting on the Nigerian jersey, and all of them have gone. They believe in gone in Africa. It's only in the Western world or other foreign country they believe in negotiation. In Africa, they believe in gone. And then Nandi can you come with self determination. It is against the British policy in Africa. Their policy is gone. And they, they love you when you are agitating for freedom with the gun. Because they will respond in the same manner. Though they may, they will not come direct, they may not come direct, but they must respond. Do you understand? Ohanez they said they will be monitoring Nandi Kanu case. Ohanez indeed. They monitor it. Nandi Kanu have been discharged. We have seen the end of the case, but Ohanese never gave a report what they saw. Ohanese, what did you see? Ohanese Ndibu, please, in that Nandekanu's case that you monitored, what did you see? What did you discover? <laughs> so you didn't come with anything. You don't come back with it. So you went to monitor Nandekanu's case. You did not return with anything. Ohanese Ndibu, today you now want to go to, with the development. Hmm? Okay, you want to partner with the British for development in the East. So you want to lead British to develop their country, right? The country of the people that are illegally detaining their citizens in Namdeka. So, can't you tell the British that their citizen is the key to development? Why not tell them? We know that the British knew. But you tell them now, they will know that you know what the people need. But anything they say, you agree. 
thereby neglecting the people. You are just calling us chaff. Does it mean that you don't know what we are talking about, Ohanese? Then why did we not hear that the Ohanese have debunked the call for partnership by the British, asking the British to free our citizen Namdekano before such, um, what is it called? The, before such partnership can hold. It is a very simple response. Now we know that the people are talking. So you, you just told the news to trend it. Let us see. But we have bridged it on the way. What we want to hear from Ohaneze is that the Ohaneze reply, res, replies to, okay, or responds to the British call for partnership on development in Southeast, as they used to say. That Ohanese Ndibo demands that Namdekanu should be free first before such um, partnership can stand or hold. This is what we need to hear. We know that the men are talking. Not all you know that your brother did well. And now join your talk on farm, okay? Nobody can give them job in a lab. But the engineer and a recruiter here. You need to know the color. Chaka stra chaka. I said, I'm engineer on your chat. Not a doctor, but a doctor. Oh, good. Second, I'm going to make it. An idiot. Oh, yeah, I can't say I confirm my hembro. You know, you need to go. Oh, my hembro. I'm going to hang here. Now, 2000 and the. 2005, came back the poor batra or two six or two two five or two six. Coach, I hear hang down in the same bottom, new was shopping. Oh, no, I can't get poor hood now, Buffy. Buffy, but a man on the acid drive the opposite. A lot of us, yeah, the way him, lechaya, lechaya, him, the aka core. Yeah, the two, me pay dolly too. But then I did another fair basis. When you are trying to confirm, you are going to be matter fools. Hana got fair in a hand, Hana here every day. On board your chariot, we are coming to have a tour. On your camera, no. Be be on the good lady side. Be on this side, lay. The letter is saying, "Hang on, you are running." Are you happy, Mom? On your plan, you are trying to say, "Take one, you." Black people. Right? But how am I here, sis? Bahamata Trina, 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 Bahamata Bonota confirm Begia, I am it again. Something I'm a mamma rotor, I see. Surprising, no, my own, I wrote your mother, young man, someone who I can't go away, but where I go front and back, we be. In a lay, I think you were in a plenty, ma at work here. Governor and a buffet by Yahweh Express Road, or noble and a buffet, how could she beg it? Oh, why the cake was in a piano? Because how will a conscience? This shows you the wicked. That's why we launch ESM for them. Politicians, because they don't trust themselves. They are not called political talks. They was uncomfortable. They are not called, sorry, talks IPOB launched against politicians. They are not called inabimu politicians. They decided to destroy ESL as if they are safe because the army and the police are being commanded by Fulani. Are you safe? But ESL are being led by our people, commanded by our people. No stranger from Fulani land there. But you prefer Nigerian police and army guiding you that are being commanded by Fulani, not even Fulani here, foreigners, terrorists. Not even normal person, terrorists that have been recruited into the Amiyan police. But we launched ESM that came from your communities. 
Only to defend the bushes. Long time against Fulani Hesmen, ESM, for so that our mothers can go to farm. The Bluetooth device is really cheap help. But what you did was to kick the against... The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. To kick against ESM. Thank you. But today we are here. We know what is good to our people. And we are ready to pay any sacrifice. And we have been paying sacrifices. Nandekano is the only thing we have at hand after the British have stolen all that we have, then handed over gun to Fulani. Whenever we ask them, What are you doing in, with our Tangere? Fulani will kill us. When we ask them, What are you doing with our coal? They will shoot us. That's what the British did after, after stealing. They don't even want us to ask. They gave all people gone, gave them power. And say, anytime they say, kill them. Even if they did not say, if you see them trying to make progress, kill them, hit them down. If you allow them to grow, they will take power away from you. This is the condition we are. And that's why POB, in order not to offend, offend anybody or any citizen, we resolved in demanding for the freedom for the Biafran people. Do you know why? We want to be sure that our people have agreed to become Nigerian. Because we have not been accepted by the Nigerian people. We have tried to force ourselves to be Nigerians. No way. We have tried to develop Nigeria and we have been developing it. They do not accept us. Now, the only weapon to confront IPOB is the Afra referendum. So that our people will decide that, okay, we are comfortable with Fulani raping our daughters, I will vote to be Nigerian. We are comfortable with the checking points in our communities. We are comfortable the way our people are being are languishing in jails in different parts of the world. We are comfortable with it. With, we are happy the way Nigerian embassy and ambassadors are writing against Biafrans in different parts of the world. People, they say they are their citizens. They keep writing petitions against particular people. So it is our duty to vote against Biafra during the freedom and vote on the favor of Nigeria that we want to remain slaves. We want to remain slaves in the hand of Fulani. It is our duty to vote for it. That is self-determination. We will decide to continue with Nigeria. We have not been welcomed into Nigeria. And we have tried to be Nigerians. As they told us that here, they created here into Nigeria. We have tried to do so no way. Even our fathers, we were killed because we went to Ghana and agreed on one Nigeria and signed one Nigeria. That's what Ojuku went and agreed with Gowa. But do you know the one Nigeria? They didn't accept it. They told Gowa to go and kill us. The same one Nigeria. Thank you. Welcome. Do you understand the game? <laughs> you know, people don't, who don't know what the canon knows, if they come to your, your timeline, they will tell you, they say you are posting. Federal government is not seeing it. Now, I know no broker says, they are not seeing it. Anon Pama is a fool. A program that they have picked, their agents have picked and sent to them. Your post, they, they employ people. They are paying them. Their duty is to get where we are, that is where our attention are going to. Any day, if, any, if you divert, they will take them, they, they report to them. That's why we refuse to divert. They are monitoring to see whenever we divert. They knew that IPOB is up, up. They have used infiltrator to do all we said lie. We have placed fence. We have put fence. We separated them. They are somewhere now. 
And the British have known that we are very, very intelligent. We are IPOB, and we know how to fight war. And you cannot block our way because we fight from all angles. You cannot say we are coming from the back. We are coming from the front. We are coming from the side. We are coming. Although you cannot predict IPOB, whether we are coming from up or down, you cannot. You can predict our. our you did not even predict to you. But one said to, to, for eight hours. Was he able to maintain it? But it took two years and 11 months. You cannot predict us, the people of Biafra. That's what we are telling you. Right from Ojuku, have they predicted and succeeded for eight hours? As Buari, the one he started with in Amdekan, did he succeed? The answer is no. The best thing is to allow us to go. And the starting point is free Namdekano from illegal detention. That thing you have been looking for, we have given it to you. You say you will join him. We say, okay, we'll follow you to court. We want to witness when you, how you join him. He wasn't able to join him. He defeated you. He disgraced in your court. He disarmed you in your court. Upon all the things you, you, he disarmed you legally. He legally disarmed Nigeria. He destroyed them. He put them in shame. Nam de Kano. Ana Yemeri Yemeri. Obegu. Obridi Kakana. Isere Udike. Oge Ebini Kakana Alam. Ijirani again. Thank you. We move. That is what we are saying. What we are saying is that the development we need is the freedom of Nam de Khan. Leave us. If there is no development in our land, you cannot see us developing the north and the west. People that have developed our, their land and developing other part of Nigeria is the people you tell them you want to go into a partnership for development. I, 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 you, you are very, very stupid. Do, is that, do you see beggars here? We don't beg. Where you can see beggars are in the north. Where you can see people that don't have house in, are in the north. People that did not go to school are in the north. People that don't have job, hand work, are in the north. People that does not have house, they sleep in the bush. They drive people's bush with them. Are in the north. Go there. They are the people that need development. Mad people. British. So, what I want to bring to our people before I land up. Okay. Before I round up is that when we told you that these people that I will make a video, short video for this. These people calling for sit at home. They told you it is for free and if they come to brokers, they will tell you it is for free and they can. And when we come to tell you that these people are not doing it for free and they can, he tell us what are you doing, you yourself. You are fighting Simon that is doing something. Somebody no name may you and then we hear Basrakan. Then we hear Basrakan no name. If you say he's doing it, they sit at home for free and they can list it. This is at home now, and this 10 days now. Once we have succeeded in this 10 days in at home, it is automatically under the government of the African exile. So it is part of the game. This is at home now, and this 10 days now. Once we have succeeded in this 10 days in at home, it is automatically under the government of the African exile. You know, this Biafra thing has been every year Biafra, Biafra. For the past 20 years, Biafra. For the past 40 years, Biafra. And the people that are doing this thing have absolutely nothing, no direction, no nothing to show for it. Just two months of activating the Biafra government. Look up. Who are the people doing the Biafra? Namdekan. <laughs> Did he exclude Namdekan? No. Now he told you that this very, um, this very sit at home they are calling for July is part of the game. It is for the government in exile. Do you understand? 
It is not for free land canon. But if you want to convince you, those who judge, they tell it is free land canon. Do something now. Somebody that has date for judgment. What is the reason of calling for sit at home in July? What where does it reflect? That I know if we are saying you are evil, uh, you hate him, you are, you are, you are envy. And I'm very envy, you come with argument. That's what we are here for. Just say, this is your argument. If you come to my broadcast, if I go to comment session, if I see argument, either go and read, you'll be seeing my comment. But if you have an argument, you hate Simon, you are evil. They sent you. I know that I've defeated you in argument. I'll block you. Delete even your comment because you are a fool. And when you are reading, you will see that there are ones I responded because they came with argument. But if you respond to him, instead of him to respond back, you defeat him. He discovered that you have defeated him. He came back with insult. You block the idiot. And I talk also about monetizing. I don't know why they are monetizing it. They monetize it on our, on our block, man. Do they remove friends? We block you, bam bam, on the monetization. When I go very many here, and when shop, we are called we have them now monetizing it. I want you to be here. Unless my dear father, he chose me. I'm trying to monetize. I am no easy. So if you come to the page, we are no. If you know, if you have argument, be, pick one point from what we said or what I said. That is, the people respond to you. Our people are even here. They love argument. That's why we are here. They are here to respond to you on comment. But when we see that we have defeated you, we will not do your comment. You are a fool. You are an idiot. You are stupid. They have paid you. They have bribed you. You are a sellout. You are we know you are defeated. You don't have response. Because I am a man of who are it. You don't have response. You cannot challenge. You know it is the truth. You know it's the truth. Tell me where this is at home they are calling in July is related to free Nam Kano. Listen again. Now, uh, the, now, you know, in the, this coming sit at home, for example, mm -hmm. or is part of the game. Uh -huh. This is at home now, they are not listening this now. Once we have succeeded in this ten days in the home, it is automatically under the government of the African exile. Uh -huh. It's part of the game. This is at home now, now, this ten days now. Once we have succeeded in this ten days in the home, it is automatically under the government of the African exile. You know, this Biafra thing has been every year Biafra, Biafra. For the past 20 years Biafra, for the past 40 years Biafra. And the people that are doing this thing have absolutely nothing, no direction, no nothing to show for it. Just two months of activating the Biafra government. Look up. Now you see. Did you see hear the number of Namdekata at all? In the seat at home, did you hear any Namdekan? But if you come to brokers, hey, we are doing it to free Namdekan. But the people in the Akakus meeting, they know what they are doing. They know that they have come to overthrow Namdekan had he not laid structure. And they manipulated you to fight against the structure of Namdekan, thinking you are fighting for Namdekan. Gradually, you can see where they are moving to. I told you that they, they have moved automatically. They have abandoned Namdekan since 2022 because they have gotten the road they are following. But you idiot! When you call Simon, you call him American, you are a fool. They have nothing in common to do. Thank you. That is it. I am That's what we are doing. Giving them very, very far. That's what we are doing. We told them, I ain't got to ball. Now our people can understand. We are always right. I asked them, what was the starting point of this criminal? Monday sit at home. For what? To free Namdi Khan. Are they still there now? No. They are now in another side. But fools, 
are still calling in Nandekan on the activities of criminals who have chosen their road to follow. The road of business, the road of betrayal, the road of killings, the road of destruction, the road of lies. They come to you, they will manipulate you, but they know what they are doing. What in the voice note you had, what is the relationship of their July statum within Namdekan? In sincerity. Yes. The statum is now for government in exile. That's all, not for free Namdekan, no. That is some people come, what are you doing for free now the canoe? But you are telling Nigeria to break up order. That's what I feel be secured. If we are into armed struggle, the court will not even give us such verdict. If we are into armed struggle, we will paint black on the faces of our lawyers and then I'm the canoe to lawyers. If we are into armed struggle, the lawyers will face streets. The lawyers will not even know where I'm the canoe was taken. So what we played. Is the victory you are seeing? You cannot secure victory in court due to your violence. No, they will use your violence to fight against your victory in court. But if you follow due proceedings and the due process, you could be able to secure your victory or you fall victim. Right? But we maintain our lane which is in line with the lawyer's activities. Which is in line with the lawyer's activity. Ask yourself, why is it that autopilot do not have team of lawyer in their land or any part of the world? The people they deceived are in detention. They never send lawyer. They are terrorists. They don't have address. They don't have grant. These lawyers that are representing Namdekan and IPOB, they knew our grant. They knew we are not terrorists. They knew our stand. They cannot organize lawyers. They are, the people they deceived are in detention. Those people want IPOB to send lawyer. But you have a baby man. You give them money. But you don't have lawyer. You are a fool. You are an idiot. You are very stupid. Do you understand? And that is where we are landing this very message to landing it up and bringing it to an end. And we will continue to push. It is touching them. <laughs> the British have recognized that IPOB is maintaining the land. They have recognized. They knew <laughs> they resolved to development which have been rejected. You see another news from them. They are watching. The people they discuss it with are watching. They are now following our response. They will follow our response complete one week. They will know what we are saying about that very statement. You know, people don't know that Nnamdi Khan studied them. He studied them. He knows how to fight the British. Under one week now, they are monitoring our comments. They are on Twitter. They are waiting if we welcome it. Do you understand? And they have seen that we have rejected it. They are coming with another one. This is how to fight legally. This is how to fight legitimately. Knowing what the plan of your, your enemy. Blocking them before time. Are we in a team when I be land and Abu Mad? That does not affect the British. Now, to ask you, if party leader now Finland is a picture with everyone, is in our parliament, part with them with a PC leader, PDP leader, is a photo with the Yama. I should not know what we So, freedom, freedom, be a fraud, or no, in our past, in a group, we have was Rika with a year? Man was Rika Barambo, more you could be a Friano Katakuwe. The politicians destroyed him. Do you understand? So you must continue to maintain that lane. Lane, I need you. 
as a human being, you know that now all roads lead to somewhere. All road leads to somewhere. If you are in our nature, you want to go to Lagos. There is a road you follow. You don't follow road going to Enugu. The road going to Wuri does not lead to Lagos. Right? Now, in Biafra struggle, in, in freedom struggle, that it is optional. Either you choose this one or you choose one. You, this one, you does not choose two. You don't choose armed struggle and choose self-determination. It doesn't work. And on the road to self-determination, you will go to court. Road to self-determination, you will go to detention. Road to self-determination, you will go for referendum. Road to self-determination, you will protest. But to road to to road to arm struggle, you cannot go to court. Rather, you will break prison yard to free your own. Road to arm struggle, you will not know where your leader is. And your leader can never be taken to court. Right? Road to arm struggle, you cannot call for referendum. You have made taken an option, an option that prohibits peace. Referendum is peace, political, democratic. Right? If you are in armed struggle, you cannot call for civility. Sit at home is part of civility. Civil process, civil protest of any kind. If you have gone. And these things are highly prohibited in IPOB. IPOB goes to court because they don't have gone and they fight for the freedom of their members that have been detained through court process. If we are in armed struggle, we will break the prison yard and free our own. You know, people on the Amage. People on the Amage, all the energy do now. Energy do now. I am my hand in the middle. And we are not in the middle. And we are not in the middle. And we are not in the middle. Oh, God. If I have no case of in a court, in a barrister file, I have no case of submission. No case of submission means that you will not say any other thing in court. Apart from taking plea, after asking you, are you guilty or not? I'm not guilty. That is taking plea. Your barrister file no case submission application in the court. You will not say anything. There will be no cross of examination because cross of examination is yes or no. Now, but eventually, as you are moving on the trial of the mat of your case, if eventually the the um, what is it called? No case submission was bounced. If it was bounced or by the judge or through the 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 reason that was that will be given by the prosecutor, state or federal council, depending on the court, federal council, federal court, high court or state high court. In state high court, it is federal a state council. In federal high court, it is federal council. Now, if they bounce the no case submission, your case is start afresh. If the court bans no your no case submission, you see those places you you didn't say anything, they will go back. You will return plea again. So that you can be questioned. The same thing with what we are doing. If we deviate from self-determination to Amsterdam, we will start at first. Immediately you join Amsterdam, that day is when you are starting agitation. Everything you have done during the time of self-determination become in vain. All your endurance during the killings of your own in civil protests have and you you did not retaliate it has become in vain all your sufferings in the prison yard without carrying on prison attack to free your own have become in vain 
And none of your own in detention will be freed again. Now you see it. If we are in armed struggle, you will not know where Namdekan is. If you are in armed struggle, the lawyers cannot meet in Namdekan. This one, they are talking in court. Uh, uh, Zokome is going, asking for access to his doctor. In Amsog, who said us that rubbish? Who are you talking? Who are you even? So if they catch Oduku or Mao during the war, they will take him to court. So if they catch Nzog, they will take him to court. So if they arrest Philip Ephraim, they will take him to court. You are dreaming. Okay. <laughs> No, you know he is a, he's a politician now. He's not promoting. He contested for councillor and fell. He's a politician there, right? <laughs> he took picture with the party leader. You know, he's a white people. You can take picture with anybody. But uh, did you not see French um, uh, president then? Not Franco, it's Holland or what? The other one who was in France in 98, he came to there. If you are closer there, they take picture with you. You have, you have take picture with the French president. Thank you. So that's white man. It's only here that uh, taking picture is a very serious matter. You take picture with any player in the world. Hence, you are closer there. We move. That is it. And this thing, I am not now in confuse some people. For them, we base. You know, we are in self determination. Mother Valley, we will sing in our people. It has only a new way. I am a John. May John only in a good against your people. I hear what I will hear. People should not play you foolish. I will hear what I will hear. I will hear what I will hear. I will hear what I will hear. I will hear Line up and we have a red here. So any part he chooses in our freedom fighting, we have a red here. And if you are doing that, the other people playing their own, you cannot say that they are not doing well. Because you carry gun. But when your armed struggle will be effective, is when you are fighting with the oppressors. So we reject an armed struggle that are only being carried on our people. What kind of armed struggle is that? Armed struggle that does not affect the enemy. Armed struggle that the oppressors cherishes. Armed struggle that the enemies loves. Armed struggle that the enemies partakes in. Armed struggles that the enemy promotes. How does it affect the enemy? It is affecting the people. Take your arms struggle to the enemy's ground. Go to their land. But because they are working for the enemy, they are doing the part of the enemy. Terrorizing our people, killing our people, torturing them in the name of arms struggle. You ask them, they tell you now the country is free. We'll be free. What are you doing to free now the country? We are doing it to free him. But you have heard the voice note. The note said their citadel is, is part of the game. For government in exile, you have activated, activated government in exile. But now you are campaigning for the citadel in the name of Nam de Khan. After campaigning for it, he will tell you it is for the government in exile. That time you start complaining. He will not tell you to use the government in exile and take glory, but you campaign for the sitatum in the name of free Namdekan because that's what your brain is telling you. We are calling for sitatum in July to free Namdekan, but after you have finished it, you will tell you this government in exile have carried on seven days sitatum and uh, ten days sitatum, so we have France have accepted government in exile. But you are the one who says of free Namdekan, by then we will not see you again. You idiot and criminal. Ndoshi. And we thank our people that remains on the land and refuse to destroy Namdekan by trying by diverting. If you divert, you are against him. It's better you go home and relax than using his name to divert into what he does not agree. It doesn't matter how your emotion is, it doesn't matter how you feel. 
what he completely reject and rejected, even still rejecting, even as he's in detention, if you click on it and you say it's one American, you are a complete enemy. He's aware of what he's doing. He's not dead. He's in charge. He's not dead. He's in charge. He will tell you how to go. Thank you. The Chukwabiyama continue to bless our people, continue to assist them, continue to lead them, and continue to um, favor our people, guide and protect. And also, we ask that he free Namde Kano, Chukwabiyama, whatever you do to free him, free him. You have freed him in court. But the enemies are still keeping him in your hand. They are still keeping him in DSS, but through you and we pray that you change this very pattern of suffering Nigeria, which is the continual detention of Namdekan, which we know it is to punish Nigeria and to expose them. But we ask you, Chukwa Biyama, that you use another method to suffer Nigeria, to punish them. Free Namdekan and use other methods. Destroy the enemies of Namdekan and continue to put them in shame. Thank you, Chukwu Kigabiyama. In your name, we have prayed. He said, he said, he said, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. From me, fellas, I be evangelist, Mazi Madam Chimachuku. And from here, our homeland radio Biafra, here in Biafra land. It is good afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.